All right, welcome back, everyone, to Saint Echo Plays Clive Barker's Undying Part Nine. We have just returned from Oniros, where we finally defeated our nemesis, Alto Kaisinger. Get out! This is family business. You weren't here for me before. Why the interest now? Leave! Right. Aaron is still pissed at us. wants us out of the house. So we're gonna have to find a way to take care of him for good. Luckily as long as we keep moving, he shouldn't bother us too much. Let's see if this door is finally unlocked. Alright. We might be able to get into Aaron's room. Uh, by now. Stuck. That's the guest bedroom. Yep, there he is again. As far as Otto Kaisinger goes, there was there was actually a little, a little booklet. A little booklet that came with a physical copy of this game that actually gave some backstory on the Covenants and kind of their family uh, up to this point. Well, budge. I wish I still had that booklet because I'd, I'd probably do a reading of it. But it was fairly interesting for um, discovering kind of the history of the Covenant family. Jammed. And I think there was a little bit about, uh, a little bit more about Otto Kessinger, or Kaisinger in there as well, because all we really get from the game locked is that you know, Kaisinger, uh, Kaisinger killed. Patrick's wife. Um, nothing really more about his, his designs or anything. There's, there's the... I mean, evidently he's... He's really interested in Oniros and the study of magic. But beyond that... Don't have a whole lot to go on. Locked. Not sure exactly where we're supposed to go here. Maybe we can find Aaron's room key someplace. Oh. What can you tell me about this Aaron fellow? He was a strange one. An artist. He used to spend many long hours in his studio. Where is this studio? It is located in the inner courtyard, behind the stables. This will get us to the workroom area of the manor. A clue? I spoke with a butler about Aaron. An artist. He said Aaron would spend long hours in his private studio, located in the manor's inner courtyard. That's where we'll head then. Oh. Is that an explosion? Might have been. Some little gargoyles here inside. Horror staples of wind and rain. 
stuck. Entrance to the cellar there. Okay, so the explosion we heard must have been this thing being knocked over. Long bunch. And we'll get up onto the roof from here. Partially. Right, that window is slightly glowing over there, so that's probably a place we need to head. If we bust out our haste, we should be able to make the jump. Or not. Completely <laughs> not make the jump. Okay. Stop. It's probably pretty foolish. <laughs> Let's see. Is there a lower entrance? Ah, of course, there is. Dead goat in there. Very handy, considering our previous mistake. Won't budge. So sure. Here maybe? Stop. Hmm. Well I believe that's the the tower that we were at. I think so. No, it probably is that window. There's gotta be a different way to get there. Around a bit more up here. Let's see, can't really go up on to the roof. I can't fly out here in the real world. Maybe if we try again. <laughs> Holy shit, that was it. Sleep has denied me. I haven't rested in days as these visions taunt, uh, visions haunt me. Green, shapeless thoughts, a world of rats. I wish to return to my German boarding house in the sanctuary provides. I have seen the crown and it burdens my brow. Behind the canvas is another image. Bethany, you witch. I know you're watching and plotting. Do not correct my thoughts. They are mine and his and you'll never understand. Quiet, this isn't for her to hear. My pen and brush confess too much. These images must get out of my head. I must sleep. Perhaps I can visit Asia, so far away. It would be escape, but it would be a lie. So, it sounds like those words were written before he died, before he went to Asia and tried to lose himself in the opium dens, as he talked about. Hello, Aaron. Not a detail in canvas. Never had I been far enough away to grasp its entirety.
that. Big one. Oh, fuck. I... That was not the shield. Uh, damn it. That's a little better. Okay, so that gives us Bethany's gate key. And I would like that mana well. Let's see if I can shoot it down. Maybe. If I jump at it from up there. Uh, is this all the bullets? Alright. Save just in case this goes wrong. Too far. Without haste. There we go. Ugh. Don't have any of that either. Yeah, I think we might be stuck using the war cannon or the scythe for now. Where to next? Jam. There's a door over here. Won't budge. <gasps> Maybe this way? Yes! There we go. Okay, so we're back in the garden, and Bethany's gate was this way. Should check for anything new in these areas. Not sure what this leads to. Ah, health pack. Dynamite. Anything behind there? Doesn't look like it. I think we're clear. I suppose if we take care of Bethany, that might assist us in dealing with Aaron, as his death, as since he was killed by Bethany, his death would definitely be tied to her. Jammed. Yeah, only had that one opportunity to go down to the greenhouse, it seems. Okay, so we've made our way across the island to Bethany's cottage. I expect to see a lot of those plant-like monsters here. Ah, I see the tendrils of one now. It's gonna be difficult as we're kind of out of ranged weapons, but we'll do our best. Oh, 
ugly. They did not notice her presence. the sounds of an amplifier Job. above. we can gather from this cottage. So this must be where Bethany performed a lot of her uh, profane magical experiments. There's a way to get up there to acquire the amplifier stone that we heard. These howlers seem like they're just gonna keep coming. Uh, we got a journal entry though, we'll read that real fast. What is this? 
Bethany has hidden a human jawbone beneath the floorboards. It seems unthinkable that a family could visit such atrocities upon each other, but from what I have learned, I suspect that this is Aaron's. It's no wonder his ghost is so restless. This grim trophy might be a key to quelling his spirit. I think I am right. Well, Patrick is right. the rest of the family to figure out what she was doing. And now, I'm not gonna waste my ammo on these guys. Time to vacate the premises. save. Fuck. Okay. Um, I'll speed through this section real quick and uh, meet you guys on the other side. Okay, let's try to make this run again. a lot better. Okay, we've got the key to Aaron's room and we've got his jaw. Let's go back inside. Oh. Hey you. Why haven't you left? It won't, eh? The clock won't stop for you. Fate has little use for those blind to the grand design. Spoken like a true artist. Now I just gotta remember how to get to his room. Hmm, yes. This looks right. Calm your tits, Aaron. Hmm. Can you not get into your own room? Oh, the fuck? Oh, holy fuck! The f Interesting. Let's 
gotta be a way we can hide from this little trap. Something over here. Let's see. Maybe not. What did we find? I guess we didn't find anything. Hmm. Thought we picked up a note. Uh, shit. Is that it? Okay, good. Could have avoided that little trap. This time. to Bethany's room. Yes, I know you're there. Oh, we will. Oh, fuck! <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, jeez. Uh, shield, shield, shield. Where are you? There you are. Oh. Hey, yeah, that mirror trick. Oh, <laughs> okay, so it's set to trigger. Nice. Yeah, that startled me. Tuesday. An interesting letter arrived today. It seems that my search for like minds might have been halted prematurely. He calls himself Otto Kaisinger. Curiously, I've never tried to contact him. How he got my name, I have no idea, but I must admit my curiosity is piqued. I am going to have to be careful with this one. I can't let him know the extent of my knowledge. Might seem he's a threat to even steal what will be rightfully mine. If I can play to his ego and vanity, do all Maguses have this flaw? I will quicken my learning. He talks of Oniros. I have found references to an ancient city among my father's books. Supposedly it was destroyed by a magical cataclysm. He claims to have been there. He may be another fool like Crowley, but if not, I need his knowledge and help. I am ready to make sacrifices for such knowledge. Perhaps with the right ruse, that will not be necessary. Thursday. Damn this man, he teases me. He placates me by teaching me parlor tricks. I have little patience for this, but if he were to know the extent of my knowledge, he would certainly end our correspondence. He treats me like a toy or a child. I want to complete this. This house is becoming a trap. I don't belong here anymore. I have to take the next step. I must learn what Kaisinger knows. Where the hell are all these rats coming from? Sunday. I have discovered that Otto lives in England. Perhaps I will have to pay him a visit. Bethany. Mm. And we learned from Otto, in the scene leading up to his death, that uh, he was the one who killed Bethany. Perhaps he did think that her magical knowledge was becoming too much of a threat. Mm. Oh, shit. There's Aaron. All right. Time to what? Get fit now. Fuck back. Shit. Right. Okay. Here's your job back, Aaron. Probably pissed about being stuck back in your body. I understand.
Well, there's one of your limbs. Well, I didn't expect that last time. Uh... Sleep well, Irishman. is certainly a change of pace. Oh, shit. Fucking fish. Alright. Uh, so after defeating Eren, it appears that we were transported in some kind of dream landscape. Uh, you can tell by our power of flight. Uh, yes, this is this is another dream world. And as to what dream world, we don't yet know. But I think Bethany is here. The worms await you. Yep, Bethany is here. Possibly a dream world of her own making. What does this journal give us? I greet you, Patrick, my brother's crusading hero. I have brought you to my realm of eternal autumn, where I rule with unquestioned authority. I have watched you. One by one, you've destroyed my sister and brothers. You even defeated that vile Kysinger. I find it ironic that he who thought himself a mighty enough magician to kill me, the betrothed of the greatest of kings, was bested by a pitiful mortal like yourself. Now only you and I are left. I do not fear you, for I have more power than any of my siblings could ever have dreamed of. Come to me if you dare and die a mortal's death. Well, that confirms it. She has trapped us within this nightmare. The only way out... will be to take her out. But I think we will be doing that the next time. So, forward to that. See you then.